is what most golfers think they're doing when they swing their arms in a golf swing. Just big, open, free and easy movements. They're just taking that arm and slinging the club at the golf ball. Big, open arm swings. But look what happens when I put two hands on the club. All of a sudden, my shoulders become very active. Big shoulder turns, big body turns. Very different movements. Now, I admit these two movements feel the same. If I was just going by feel, I would say this movement and this movement were the same arm movement. They're not. Mechanically, they are very different. They have almost nothing in common. Given that, what really happens when you swing your arms in the golf swing? So, what actually happens when you put two hands on the golf club? We're going to go to two hands, come to our starting position. We make the triangle shape with our arms. I'm sure everybody's seen this. Everybody makes it when they come up to the ball. So now that you're in this position, what can you actually do? How can you actually swing your arms? Remembering you have to keep your lead arm straight through the entire backswing. So try to swing your arms, keeping your shoulders still. Remember, we're just talking about the arms. Swing your arms and keep your shoulders still. That's about it. There's a little looseness in your shoulders, but that's it. That's all the movement you can make. Now, why is that? Well, one, because you've got two hands on the club now, it's stabilized your arms. And two, your arms are remaining attached to your shoulders through the entire swing. As long as both arms are attached to your shoulders and both hands are on the club, you really can't swing your arms up from here. So, what actually happens in the golf swing, in the back swing, that allows you to go from here and get this club over your shoulder? So, what is the actual arm movement in the golf swing? Well, we know from this triangle position that you can't swing your arms from here. There's just not enough movement to swing them. So, what can you do from here? There's really only one motion you can make, and that's to fold your trail arms. Fold. This gets you to your top of the back swing position. Fold. Unfold. This gets you to your striking position. Fold. Unfold. Refold. This is your follow through position. That is the movement your arms make in the golf swing. Your arms fold, unfold, refold. When you want to do a backswing, you're actually doing a fold, unfold. Fold, unfold. Fold, unfold. Fold, unfold, refold. That's how your arms move. In the golf swing. Okay. I want you to stand up straight. Take your golf club in your hand. And just swing your club. Just turn your body. Don't do anything with your arms. Just let it happen. Now watch your arms. Look at what's happening with them. Look at the motion they're making. What are they doing? They fold, unfold. All this is happening automatically. Fold, unfold. Fold, refold. Fold, unfold. Notice the golf club squares up all by itself. Notice your hands turn over all by themselves. You don't have to do any manipulation. This is the way your body wants to swing the club. I want you to fold and unfold. But really, look at your arms. I bet most of you have never really looked at your arms or seen what they do in the golf swing. Look at them. 
Now, the majority of your problems when it comes to your arms in the golf swing have to do with trying to do something or manipulate your arms during the swing. Doesn't matter if it's throwing the club head at the ball, active hands, or the motorcycle move. They all get in the way of this natural movement of just folding and unfolding. Now notice, when I fold it and unfold it, the club comes square naturally. You don't have to do anything to manipulate your club head square. If you just let it happen by folding and unfolding, it will come square. You notice as you do this, hands turn over naturally, the club head comes square naturally, the follow through happens naturally. All you've got to focus on is folding and unfolding. You focus on those two things, everything else, squaring of the club head, your follow through, all of it will just happen naturally.